Pig the Elf. This one's like a Christmas story. Pig the Pug. We know some things about him already. We know he doesn't like to share. We know he always likes to win. Wonder what will happen in this one. It says, Dear Santa, may I please have something nice for Christmas from Trevor? P.S. I love you so much. Pig the Elf by Erin Blaby. Author. This is the title page because it tells us the title again. On Christmas Eve, the most merry of nights, the carols, the snowflakes, the small twinkly lights, Santa was coming. Twas bigger than big, but no one was feeling more festive than pig. There's Trevor. How he loved Christmas. He'd giggle with glee. <laughs> the presents, the presents for me, 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 me. He'd written his list and he'd asked for a lot. But Santa takes orders, so why the heck not? Dear Santa, we read his letter at the beginning. Here's Pig's letter. I want a motorcycle, a rocket, a drum set, a pony, a skateboard, a cotton candy maker. And his list goes on and on and on and on and on. Have you ever made a Christmas list that big? I mean, I've made Christmas lists, but they're not that big. The presents, the presents! He screamed out again. When will he get here? Oh, when? Tell me when! He'll come when we sleep, said his lovely friend, Trevor. But Pig shouted, sleep? I'll have none whatsoever. So Pig doesn't want to sleep. You might miss something. Sleep is for fools. Oh yes, sleep is for losers. I won't go to bed with the rest of you snoozers. I'm sitting up late. I'll be here when he comes. I declare by these stockings and gingerbread crumbs. So he's gonna stay up till Santa comes. You think he'll make it? I mean, that's a long time to stay up. Or do you think Santa won't come, maybe, if he stays up? So Trevor went dutifully off to his bed, but naughty old pig stayed up, just like he said. I'm trying to get the light to not shine on the pages, but it's not working. The waiting was endless, but Pig held his ground. Then at 3.33, well, he heard a strange sound. And guess who had made that mysterious noise? A portly old gent with a bag full of toys. He piled up some presents marked Trevor and Pig. Then he picked up his milk and he took a big swig. But then, as he turned to go back on his way, a short, cranky dog appeared shouting, Hey! I asked for more! 
hollered Pig in dismay. But Santa turned round and then hurried away. Hey! shouted Pig, sounding very unkind. Then he nipped poor old Santa's big rosy behind. He bit Santa. I think maybe that's naughty and he doesn't get any presents. Up through the chimney, onto the sleigh. Look, he's still, still on there. Pig held on tight. You're not getting away. Don't be a cheapskate. I want all my stuff. The pile you left me is just not enough. He wants more. Someone's awfully greedy. But the sleigh took off fast. Gee, those reindeer were speedy. And away fell their guests. Oh, huh. I just noticed, look. He ripped Santa's pants. Yes, the elf who was greedy. But as Trevor lay dreaming of holiday cheer, a real Christmas miracle happened right here. Yes, Pig must be blessed. He survived that big drop. He was saved by a tree. With an angel on top. Pig the Elf. What do you think? Should he get his Christmas presents? Because I'm thinking if it were me, if I were Santa, no presents for him. What do you think?